New Zealand's biggest gap year happened about two years ago in which Laura, my partner, and I decided to tackle 365 activities in 365 days all around New Zealand. This is day 98. We are in the area of New Zealand called Nelson Lakes and we're checking out the largest lake in the area called Lake Rotoroa. We see you at the end of the video in which I'm going to go over all the comments you guys had the first time we published it and answer plenty of questions. See you then. This morning is another amazing drive for us. We love more and more every single day driving around the South Island. We are stunned by the beautifulness of the landscape. And we are making our way to Lake Rotoroa, which is located in the Nelson Lakes National Park. As soon as we arrive, we are mind blown by the views and we take the time to grab a bit of a lunch and chat with a couple of locals that were here walking their dogs. They are super friendly and send us our way. They tell us that there is a really cool hike to do nearby but first we want to check out the jetty. Lake Rotoroa is the largest lake in the Nelson Lakes National Park and it is incredibly beautiful. The surrounding mountains are covered in forest and even snowy peaks out into the distance and the water itself is placid and very transparent. The view from the pier alone is totally worth the drive. But we have to get on our way. The locals that we met when we were grabbing lunch told us that there was a really cool little hike nearby and that was totally worth doing. It's not too long, but there is a lot to see there. So we want to make sure that we have enough sunlight today to make the most of it. Lake Rotoroa is the start of many hikes here in the Nelson Lakes National Park. There are a lot of multi-day hikes to start here, but we opt for a shorter option, simply called the Nature Walk. This takes us through a really tall forest of beech and podocarp and it's totally different from any other forest that we've been in New Zealand so far. The floor is covered by a multitude of different ferns. It's really cool to watch. There are ferns of all different sizes and shape. There are some small ones, some big ones, some round ones, some tall ones. It's really impressive that in such a small area you can see such a wealth and diversity of plants. But there is not only plants, there is also heaps of wildlife. We spot a lot of different birds, we hear even more of them, but mainly we spot the keruru, which is the native wood pigeon. It's a massive, very clumsy bird, which is white and green. It's really cool to spot one so up close. The really cool thing about this forest is that it's so spread out that it lets the sunlight cast these dramatic shadows through the forest. We then notice a sidetrack towards this secluded beach on the side of the lake. We can see mountains, we can see snow, we can see forest, we can see lake. The water is pretty icy, to be honest. Maybe we won't swim at the moment, but it's nice to look at. So with that, it looks like this is not today that you're going to see a skinny dip in the Nelson Lake. We are making our way back toward the forest and engulf ourselves again in this tall beech tree area. This nature walk is only a 25 minute loop walk, but man, we are seeing a lot. I also really love the fact that there is moss covered tree everywhere we look. On top of the fern that already amazed me, we see trees completely overrun by moss and that gives them a complete different look and this kind of really eerie Lord of the Ring-ish feel. Laura and I are in awe in front of this walk. We had no idea that this walk existed here. In fact, we only knew about the really lengthy walk, like eight hours or even the multi-day walk. And we feel really lucky that we actually took the time to chat with the locals with our lunch, because if not, there will be no way we will knew, know this walk exists here. We really advise you guys to spend some time and chat with the locals. They know everything. But one of the things that we have to do today is to try to locate a hospital. We are a little bit in the middle of nowhere, but I seem to have been bitten by either a spider or a massive amount of sand fly, and one of my finger is not looking so good. Luckily, New Zealand is an awesome country and there are hospitals everywhere. That's how much I can bandit right now. 
We are making our way towards Murchison Medical Center so that Robin can have his inflamed finger checked out. They take really good care of us at the Murchison Health Center. And the great thing about New Zealand is that they have universal health care system free for all. So hopefully Robin's finger will be healed in the next few days and until then we drive back towards St. Arnold where we are staying the night. I've changed our plans a little bit uh, for tomorrow. We're not going to do something as epic as it was supposed to be, but we're going to do something actually pretty unique. We're going to go to the Maria Springs which are um, one of the only hot springs on the west coast and it's a beautiful very remote location and it's going to be something a bit relaxing for all day 99 um, trying to heal that finger and uh, you know trying to take a bit of a rest because honestly those last 98 days have been pretty hectic All right guys, so there was a lot of questions on this video, so I'm going to dive right into it. We start with Why in the World that actually says, I went there about a year ago and I didn't stay long due to all the sand flies and wasps. But next time I must check out that walking track you guys found. Um, so yeah, I can say we were too bothered by all of those. There was not that many insects, so we were all good because Laura doesn't like insects too much. The Bearded Traveler and Mrs. Traveler says, incredible video. The views are so beautiful. It was very informative, very well produced and it was, it was so intrigued that they subscribed so that's really nice I really like the fact that uh, you know you took the time to give us some love uh, we did subscribe back so here you go uh, tease yourself says loving the video guys thank you so much you awesome via Colbaker says I live there on a the farm behind a big grey house so we literally filmed your home that's pretty awesome I kind of like that sometimes sometimes when I see my house in videos I always like what that's epic Paya Permo says you missed the best flat walk around Lake Rotor um, it's, it has nice hot pools and it's Maria Springs. We actually will get there um, at some point during New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year, so stay tuned. We will get to this place. And Sophie says, I basically grew up here. The lake is my second home. Uh, it's true that the sunflies are annoying, um, but it's always hilarious to watch unsuspecting tourists get eaten. So yes, um, so we were not too bothered by most of the sunflies, you know, for the time we were there but you know obviously we are getting to be beaten and you will see that some stuff is developing so yeah be aware of sandfly we actually have an article on nzpocketguide.com um, in which we drew from that experience and we actually go over the best way to um, you know avoid sandfly bites so here you go nzpocketguide.com and check out you know type sandfly in the search and um, search bar on top and you'll find 10 ways to avoid sandfly bites which is always a good thing when you go around this area of New Zealand because now we're not bothered too much anymore which is awesome all right and that pocket guide by the way is all free I'm not selling you anything if you did find this video useful like and subscribe join us in the next video when we're going to be going on to day 99 of New Zealand's biggest gap year ever so close to closing on day 100 and you can join us during one of our live sessions it's happening at 8 a.m on Sunday New Zealand time every single week we sit on that couch with Laura and we answer all your questions about traveling in New Zealand it's definitely worth doing see you then bye bye